Hey everyone, thanks for coming. This is the Bigur Show. I'd like to introduce my guest today, Mr. Professor Chandra. How you doing today, sir? Thank you, thank you for having me. So I'd like to ask, who are you? So I'm a professor at Harvard University, and I specialize in economists from uh, the 17th and 1800s. Wow, very interesting. So uh, who is this Thomas Malthus? So Thomas Malthus is a particularly interesting figure. Um, he was born of parents of the Enlightenment period, and so he grew up with that um, philosophy. But he was really of the classical like, economic school. So he grew up um, under the influence of Adam Smith, and he kind of lived with um, you know capitalism in mind. Wow, very cool. So uh, why is he famous, though? Like, why do we hear so much about him? So that's a really interesting thing, because he's really famous for uh, his theory on population. So he believed that population just grew exponentially, but the things we um, we have to sustain human life, that is primarily food, grows linearly. So population will always exceed um, the amount of food we have. And as a result, um, we're constantly, you know, bumping into like a carrying capacity. And so hunger and famine and everything else is just due to overpopulation. And so that's what people think when they hear um, about Malthusian theory. It's all about, you know, this negative, pessimistic view of the world. Wow, that's very interesting, guys. All right, so this great man, Ryan Chandra, uh, please stick with us after the break, this quick commercial. See you guys later. Introducing the one and only Toon Squad Space Jam jersey. It comes with your favorite player's name and number on the back with the iconic Toon Squad logo on the front. If you call now, you can receive one bottle of Michael's Secret Stuff, all for the bargain of $19.99. Call now at 1-800-SPACE-JAM to get this special offer. Side effects may include increased agility, strength, and good looks. Bugs. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have a lot more in store for us from Professor Chandra over here. So I was wondering, uh, who did uh, Thomas Malthus build off of? So Thomas Malthus in many ways is a revolutionary um, and he kind of rejected some of the prior economists that came before him um, and philosophers and in particular William Godwin is one. Um, Godwin was so convinced in human potential that he believed that we'd eventually become invulnerable. That we wouldn't need medicine, wow. we wouldn't need government, we could just live on our own. And Malthus completely rejected this. He viewed that particularly the lower class just propagated themselves like bunnies. And they would just keep going and they didn't have that optimistic mindset. Another one was uh, Jean Baptiste Say, um, who believed that there was no such thing as a glut. And meaning that the goo couldn't build too much of something and you couldn't have an oversupply. And Malthus just thought that was false. Yeah, wow. So uh, who did Thomas Malthus influence? So in the modern day, you might have heard of a few of these guys. One is David Ricardo, who is a contemporary of his. Um, Ricardo believed in the iron law of wages. That is, that wages would only sink to a subsistence level, as they did for much of the 19th century. Another one is John Maynard Keynes, who is arguably the most influential economist today. Um, Keynes believed that the government should step in to fix uh, issues of oversupply and lack of aggregate demand, as Malthus predicted. So in many ways, Malthus was the predecessor um, to one of the most important economic theories of today. Wow. Good information out of you, Professor Chandra. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank um, you very much. Very nice to see you soon. So, uh, before you guys leave, we have a very special guest star today introducing himself, Mr. Thomas Malthus. <laughs> well, it's great to be here, sir. How you doing? Good. So, uh, before you get started, uh, why are you wearing that China uh, break, windbreaker? Well, I get to ask this all the time, you know? I'm just a big fan of their one-child policy. <laughs> Alright, so you know why I'm here. I got a hot mixtape coming. You can check me out at soundcloud.com slash Malthus on the beat or you can follow me on Twitter at, at Twitter handle Malthus is sick. Alright, you, you can follow those on the social media. Hit me up anytime fam. I'm ready to build. I mess with the vision. Alright, let's connect. Um, yeah, play the music video now. You got it.
People call me a pessimist, but I have to disagree. My prediction of pestilence is a negativity. Our population is reaching carrying capacity. I'm a realist with it, that's just reality. Cause both our parents are products of the enlightenment. I know what I'm talking about, there isn't no denying it. We need food to feed a grown world, we're just providing it. Poverty and famine gonna happen, ain't no fighting it. Natural laws eventually gonna kick in. Living things in the past are means of subsistence. How you feed in the mouths of a verb, billion. Especially when we having too many children. We gotta limit family size at a lower class. Too many kids to support and not enough cash. They can't afford having more. Won't you do the math? Eventually something's gotta collapse. Cause rising population mean decline in living conditions. You might doubt it right now, but we're bound for collision. This position ain't persistent, it's a war of attrition. Not enough resources for the man will mean competition. Till we're driven into shelling ammunition to survive. Demolition of civilians for a piece of the pie. All packed in the slums, then we still multiply. Tell me how we supposed to get by. Ta- Thomas mouth this. Put the money where my mouth is. Don't you, don't you ever doubt this. Take a look at where the population count is. Tell me what you, what you really know about this. Ta- Thomas mouth this. Put the money where my mouth is. Don't you, don't you ever doubt this. Take a look at where the population count is. Tell me what you, what you really know about this. Ta- Thomas now let's mouth get to the this. haters so I can hear the rebuttal. I'ma line them all up, I ain't keeping it subtle. No subliminals, I'm name dropping and I ain't stopping over nothing. So you know my opposition in trouble. Let's start with Say's Law, there can't be no overproduction. Sean Baptiste say what you're saying just doesn't make sense I mean are you insane? Maybe in the long run you're right But short term cuts make you wrong son And I've had it with this William Godwin and his optimism It's like you think there are gods inside our bodies It's absurd what you're saying Do you even listen to the words that you're saying? Like humans can eventually achieve invulnerability And engage individually where mind controls the body Yo and government ain't needed Population growth is trivial Just stop right there You need to start living in the physical world Where government is necessary and control and population growth and guts Cause humans are humans now Comic book characters There isn't any way that we'd evolve that much You're just out of touch So don't you ever open up your mouth With no ludicrous statements About how the future gon' be I don't know who allowed you to speak But from now on I don't wanna hear a single peep so now I'm going for the finish like it's on your marks Moving on a bigger fish like Karl Marx I'ma X out your name like the last letter of it As for socialism, free trade is passing above it Oh you think I love your sufferings from capitalism But I am telling you a government can man the whole system Cause the invisible hand is a force that's way more efficient We help society progress by acting in our self-interest But you just don't understand and now I am sick of explaining How all our lives are degrading cause population is raising What is there left for debating? Can't you all see the world's changing? There ain't enough for everybody so we'll see who's remaining what we need is less reproduction Cause we can use a reduction In our consumption of resources And soon there will be nothing left in the comments Maybe then they will listen When it's too late to prevent my predictions Ta- Thomas mouth this Put the money where my mouth is Don't you, don't you ever doubt this Take a look at where the population count is Tell me what you, what you really know about this Ta- Thomas mouth this Put the money where my mouth is Don't you, don't you ever doubt this Take a look at where the population count is Tell me what you, what you really know about this Thomas mouth this